hello students in the previous video we have seen how to draw a helix on a cylinder now helix it is the curve which is generated by a point which moves around the surface of a right circular cylinder and at the same time it advances in the axial direction also now in this figure we can see a c it is the path or the curve which is formed as a point moves from the point a to c and as it moves from a to c AB is its displacement around the surface of the cylinder while BC is its axial displacement. Now this particular portion of the curve CE it is the part of the helix which will be formed on the back side of the cylinder which can't be seen and hence it is shown by the dotted curve so this is the helix from a to c and c to e now we will see a few points how to draw the helix on a cylinder to start with we have drawn the top view and a front view of the cylinder now the top view it will be a circle because as you see the cylinder from the top it will appear as a circle the diameter of which will be 60 mm which is given to us the front view will be the rectangle the height of the rectangle it will be 100 mm which is given as the height of the axis of the cylinder and the width of the rectangle will be 60 mm then we have drawn this rectangle which is the development of the cylinder the height of this rectangle will be 100 mm and this length it will be equal to the circumference of the circle that is pi into d in this case it is 188.5 mm the next step we have divided this side of the rectangle into 12 equal parts say from here 1 2 3 up to 12 then we have drawn vertical lines to this particular line at these points from 1 to up to this point 11 the next step we have drawn the diagonal for this rectangle and the points where these vertical lines from these respective points they intersect the diagonal we have named them as p1 p1 point is the point formed by the intersection of the vertical line from the point 1 to the diagonal it is p1 similarly we have p2 p3 and so on in the next step we have divided this circle into 12 equal parts one two three four five six and so on then we have transferred these points on the front view one and eleven would be here we have drawn this line two and ten will be here we have drawn this vertical line three and nine will be here it is the center line 
which is the axis of the cylinder. Here we have 4 and 8 and 5 and 7 and ultimately this is 6. And then these points on the diagonal they are transferred to the front view. So in doing so this point P1 it will be transferred to this particular line. It is 1 and 11. Out of that this first part of the circle here. So P1 will be transferred here. P2 it will be transferred here on this line. The second part of the circle which is projected on the front view. Then P3 here. Then P4. Yeah, this 4 and 8 here and this line over here and we have transferred this point P4 here. Similarly P5, P6 on this line. Then P7. We have 5 and 7 here. So on this line we have transferred the point P7. Then P8, P9, P10, P11 and P12. All these points which we have taken on the diagonal of the rectangle are transferred to the front view. And then we have joined all these points with the French curve. And a smooth curve is formed. Now this part of the curve from P0 to P6 it is on the front side of the cylinder. And hence we have used the continuous line. While the curve, that is the helix, from P6 to P12, it is on the back side of the cylinder, which is not visible. And hence, a dotted curve is shown here. In this way, we get the helix on the cylinder for one revolution. Thank you.